I've ever bought GPUs from AliExpress. Not GPUs. I mean, I bought other stuff from AliExpress, but not GPUs. The thing is, the prices on AliExpress is the same price I can buy in the US. Now, just be aware, if you're looking at the GPU prices that are super cheap on AliExpress, more than likely those are scams or they are scams because, of course, that's why they're so cheap. But if you look at the official AliExpress sellers that sell GPUs, they're pretty much the same price you can get in in the US. So there's no point of using AliExpress to buy GPUs. This is Alibaba, though. Isn't it legit? Alibaba is legit. When people get scammed from Alibaba, Amazon, or eBay, they're getting scammed because they're using off payment services. So when you sign up for Alibaba, AliExpress, they tell you straight up right when you sign up, do not use any payment services outside of Alibaba because they have no control. If you use the payment services through Alibaba, eBay, Amazon, you can always do chargeback. You can get your money back. But if people ask you to, you know, go to WhatsApp, go to a Telegram, use another app service. A lot of people use WhatsApp. That's the biggest scam one. WhatsApp on Alibaba or AliExpress. So if anyone tells you to use that and pay through that, that's the scam. That doesn't happen just on Alibaba or AliExpress. It happens everywhere. It happens on eBay. It happens on Amazon. It's just it's less frequently over there because it's more monitored, but it happens everywhere. Just be aware. If you use their payment system, you're safe because they can refund you. So that's the thing. So that's why if you go to the actual Alibaba GPU sellers, their GPU prices are the same compared to everyone else's if you see gpu prices on aliexpress or alibaba that seem really cheap they're gonna ask you to go to a different payment system it's a scam because the thing is alibaba they can't help you you didn't follow their directions because straight up they tell you when you sign up they tell you do not use any other payment system unless it's through alibaba and then that's the thing if you complain through alibaba all they do is pull up their terms and services their tos and then they're like why didn't you read it we're like why didn't you just follow the rules so it's not alibaba scam you is the people on Alibaba are scamming you, but it's the same everywhere else. eBay has the same thing. Amazon has the same thing. Like they tell you straight up, pay through their system. If you don't, it's on you. It's like your fault. That's why you can't really complain if you get scammed because they just bring up their TOS. So yeah, it's that it's people scamming on those services. It's not the services are scamming you. Yeah. See, this is fake because the thing is, they're probably going to ask you to talk to them through WhatsApp. Let's check. Yeah, see right here, there, scam. Anything that tells you to do this is a scam. Because the thing is, same thing with messages. Do messages through Alibaba Message Center. Because obviously Alibaba can read all of the messages. So if anything tells you to do this, just straight scam, avoid. Because why do this when you can just use their message center? But that's what I'm saying. It's not Alibaba's fault because they tell you anything outside of Alibaba, it's on you.